Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at my PRS uh, Fiore, the Mark Lee Terry signature guitar. Um, just wanna show you this guitar, break it down, um, tell you about some of the features, and then most importantly, play you some of the tones. So what we're gonna do today, um, feel free to check the chapters in the description if you wanna skip through. But I'm gonna tell you a quick story about why I got this guitar, because I think there might be other people out there kind of with a similar story. Um, and then I'm gonna run through the features of it uh, and then again, most importantly, I want to get to those tones. So I'm going to show you some clean tones, walk through all the pickups and, um, and then show you some dirty tones and kind of see what we can get out of this thing. So I've got the Fiore running into my Fender Blues Deluxe. Uh, that is running into the Torpedo Captor, into my DAW, into GarageBand. And then I've got torpe the Two Notes Torpedo Wall of Sound plugin loaded up. Uh, it's also running into my pedal board. And so I'm getting some clean boost from the Analog Man. King of Tone, and then I've also got the uh, Ventress, Source Audio Ventress Reverb uh, for some verb there. And then I think there's a little bit of delay from the Boss DD200. And then I'm going to be adding some gain with the high gain side of the Analog Man King of Tone. And then I'm also probably gonna add the EP booster in there just to give a little more. So that's what you're gonna be hearing today. Okay, so quickly wanted to tell you why I got this guitar. So, you know, a lot of people want to compare the Fiore to the Silver Sky. And I, I get the, the, the comparison, you know, the Silver Sky was the first, you know, single coil, I guess, Strat style um, guitar from PRS. And so this being kind of the second one, everything is, this is being compared to, to the Silver Sky. Uh, but in my opinion, I think this is a very different guitar. So the reason I got this guitar was because I, I've always loved the clean tone of a Strat style guitar, but I always hate the bridge pickups. Um, so I, I'm kind of a Gibson guy. I have a Les Paul and a, and a SG, and those are kind of my main uh, guitars, but I always feel like I'm missing that really nice clean tone from a Strat. So I actually bought a Silver Sky. So I, I bought a Silver Sky maybe a year ago, a little bit longer, because I needed that clean tone. I needed that Strat sound because I only had humbuckers. And so after playing the PRS for around a year, I like the, uh, after playing the Silver Sky for around a year, I really liked the Silver Sky, uh, but I was missing the bridge pickup. Um, basically, whenever I go to the bridge on a Strat style guitar, I, I usually find myself with a little bit more gain, not high gain, I don't play super high gain, but I usually turn on a little bit more gain and I just hate the sound of a, of a single coil in the bridge. Um, it just doesn't really do it for me. And especially that Silver Sky, I always found myself having to roll back the tone on the Silver Sky uh, when I was in the bridge bridge pickup and I'm playing more rhythm stuff or even even kind of a lead in the bridge. Um, I always found myself having to roll back that tone knob and that's annoying to me. I like to keep all my knobs at 100 pretty much all the time. That's just kind of how I like to play. So when this came out and was introduced, I was really excited. I like the uh, trim arm a lot more and this kind of whole setup here. I love the bridge pickup there, but um, I also found out upon getting this guitar, you know, that I think it's very different from the Silver Sky in pretty much all aspects. It's not, they, I'm sure they share the two single coils and you can get a lot of, obviously you can get Strat tones out of this guitar, but it's just very different from the Silver Sky in a lot of ways. So talk about that a little bit more today, but I want to dive into the features of this guitar next and kind of tell you what all these, everything does and all the different things that it can do. Okay, some of the features of the guitar, I'm gonna kind of quickly run through these because I think the tones are the most important part. Uh, 22 frets, it's got a swamp ash body, 25.5 inch scale length, maple neck, maple fretboard. Um, it's got these vintage style uh, PRS tuners and the kind of the traditional locking mechanisms up here. Uh, it's These are custom Fiore pickups. So these are not in any other guitar. Uh, Mark Fiore, or I'm sorry, Mark Letteri 
design these with you know with Paul and, and with the I guess the team over there and so you've got a custom humbucker here custom single and single from Mark Letary and PRS um, you have two tone knobs here and a volume switch and these uh, pop out and do funky things that we'll talk about here in just a second um, but that's the gist of kind of what you get here really nice guitar feels good um, I, I like it a lot. Okay, next up, let's talk about what these knobs do because they do some really interesting things. You may have watched other reviews. You may have seen this. I'll, I'll give you kind of my explanation pretty quickly. This guy right here, uh, when you're in the bridge position and you pop that out, it makes this uh, humbucker into parallel. So I don't fully understand all this kind of stuff. Not really my expertise. Um, but from what I understand, it doesn't split it. It's not a coil split. Uh, like some other you know humbuckers that may have a coil split, it doesn't split. It doesn't split the two coils. It just puts it into to parallel, and so it gets a little bit different sound, which we'll walk through in a little bit. But that's what that pull switch does. Okay, so popping the second knob here, you, this is where you get kind of some funky stuff. What that does, I'll walk you through each each uh, selection here. Hopefully, I can get get all this right. It basically adds the neck pickup in with the humbucker when you're in the bridge position. So in the bridge position, you get these two. When you go in the second position, you get all three. When you go in the middle, you just get the middle. Uh, when you go to the fourth position, you get all three again. And then when you go to this uh, neck position, you get just the neck and the humbucker. It's kind of weird. It's a little much for me to keep track of. I don't usually use these pull switches. I just kind of go with the traditional setup because I bought it, for, or not the traditional setup, but I bought it to have this humbucker sound. So I leave all three and I'll, I'll walk you through all the tones uh, here in just a moment, but that's how I like to play it just because I bought this guitar for this humbucker So I want to hear the humbucker um, But I know Mark Terry, you know designed this because he wanted to get all those crazy tones And he probably uses a lot of those tones live So it's a very versatile guitar You can get anything from you know the higher gain tones to really really beautiful cleans to blues to jazz uh, Anything you can think of this guitar will pretty much do it so Okay, let's hear the humbucker in parallel. So not a split, but parallel. <laughs> the 
back to Humbucker. Okay, we're back to Humbucker. We're going to uh, 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 pull. We're going to pull the middle knob, and we're going to bring in the neck pickup. So we've got humbucker and neck. really like that sound. It's a really cool sound. So I do like that a lot. All right, let's go to the second position. It's going to be all three pickups. Just middle again. again so I won't go through that one but you get the idea right and then uh, the last one here back to uh, neck and hum okay let's do some dirty tones I have the uh, high gain side engaged in the analog man king of tone and we are going humbucker had a little more gain from the EP booster.
right, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Overall, this is a great guitar. Um, if you're looking for something uh, that does Strat things, but also does some humbucking things, doesn't really feel like a Strat, but still gets those beautiful clean tones, maybe some blues tones you're looking for, I think this is a great option, and it's really been great for me so far. I love uh, having that humbucker in the bridge for when I want to hit some gain and I want to go down to that, that humbucker pickup, maybe play some rhythm stuff, not have to back off that tone. And I can get those fat, juicy tones that I can get on only on humbuckers, but still being able to get that clean tone from the other pickups, uh, that beautiful clean tone. That's what I love about it. So it's a great guitar. If you enjoyed this video today, please leave a like and also leave me a comment consider subscribing to the channel. We're a new channel, so we'd love to have your support here and we'll be putting out new videos every single Wednesday. See you next week.